Welcome back to the shed. Now, a good while back, I made a video on how to remove a stuck chuck on a Myford ML7 lathe, as these are notorious for having the chuck getting firmly stuck on the spindle nose, with no ready way to easily lock the spindle to enable the chuck to be released. Now, in that video, I showed some of the pitfalls of the methods used, and as some can seriously damage the lathe, and I finished the video with my technique of using a wooden block to jam the chuck against the bed to release a stubborn chuck. And off it comes. Now I've been using this method ever since and to be honest it hasn't let me down yet. But recently I saw a new idea which looked to be quite possibly a neater way to lock up the spindle using the bull gear without the fear of possible damage by using one of these 3D printed spindle locking devices. They are designed to precisely fit onto the bull wheel and as it is such a precise print, it can only be fitted by sliding it onto the tooth profile from the side of the gear. This engages about 20 teeth in total and the body of the lock fits hard up against the casting of the headstock, securely preventing the spindle from rotating in the lathe, thus allowing the chuck to then be held very solidly for removal from the spindle nose, without fear of breaking off any of the teeth on the bull wheel which is a real possibility if simply using the back gear to lock the chuck alone. With so many teeth in contact with the lock, the surface area of contact is massively increased and the risk of breaking the teeth is eliminated. And as the product is printed from PLA plastic, this is more likely to fail before the iron gearing. So even the most stubborn of chucks can be removed with brute force without fear of damage to the machine. And although I haven't used it in such anger, it certainly does what it says on the tin. To be fair, since I started using these fibre spindle washers between the chuck and the spindle, I rarely get a very tight chuck anymore that requires any type of Herculean effort to remove them anyway. So I would always recommend the use of one of these washers on your spindle nose as a safeguard against getting a stubbornly stuck chuck in the first place. As they say, prevention is always better than the cure. Now as the product is supplied fresh from the printer, you may find that there is some flashing or excess plastic which needs to be removed. This can be done either with a sharp knife or a file, such as you would expect to find flashing on an iron casting, so it may need a bit of light fettling before use. This 3D printed chuck lock comes as the standard lock, but there is also one made with a convenient built-in handle. There is also a version which will lock the chuck in both directions, utilising this 90 degree cutout in the print, which would be useful for various ops in the lathe, such as certain milling or keyway cutting operations, where you don't want the spindle to rotate in either direction on the lathe, which I will certainly find useful when doing my cross drilling of my flywheels etc. The maker of this product also informs me that they make an indexing mechanism which can be added to the lock allowing precise index rotation of the chuck without the need for complex calculations, although I haven't looked into this just yet but may well do so in the future. Now if you are an owner of the Myford ML7 lathe then you may already be familiar with the problem of the stuck chuck and you may already have found your own solution to overcome the lack of a spindle lock, as I did myself with the wooden block method. But I must say that after using this 3D printed lock, it has become my go-to tool wherever I find myself in need to remove a stuck chuck, so definitely worth the small price for a very useful tool. Now I'm sure you're wondering where to get one of these. Well, they are available direct from the maker in the UK and also from the designer of the tool in Canada and the USA, and will post to most parts of the world. There are versions available on eBay, but the seller informs me that these are unlicensed copies of their product, as the ML7 design was originally released on Thingiverse under a Creative Commons non-commercial license. So the makers now offer these available for a small charitable donation, plus a fee to cover production costs and postage 
so they remain loyal to the original license and help charitable organisations in the process. So, if you're unable to print your own, then please purchase directly from the suppliers. The contact details are in the data section below the video, along with a link where you can buy my anti seize fibre washers for the spindle nose. Well, that just about wraps up this short little update video. And I just wanted to create this as a follow-on from my original stuck chuck video and hope it reaches out to many Myford ML7 lathe users as I really do think this is the best solution for the problem and hopefully save a few more ball wheels from becoming damaged in the future. Thanks for watching.